Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Omar and today I will show you how you can perfectly align objects in your PowerPoint slides. So let's see how we can do that. Here I have this picture on a slide and I want to position it in the center of the slide. So how to do that? First of all, I will show you how to center it vertically. So if you scroll to the middle and you reach the vertical middle, you will see this line. So now it's moving on the vertical line. Also, if you want to let it be on the horizontal middle, so you can go down and until you reach the middle horizontal, you will see this red line. And you can move on the horizontal line. And if you want to center it on the middle of the slide, vertically and horizontally, you will center it on one of them, then you keep moving until you reach the center. So now the object is centered on the middle of the slide. You also have some tools that can help you in the positioning of the objects. So if you go into view and here under show you can see different options. The ruler, here you can see the zero is the center horizontally and here the zero is the center vertically and you can position the objects based on this ruler horizontally and vertically. Second thing that can help you is the grid lines. So as you can see those grid lines can also help you to see if for example two objects are symmetrical on both sides or not and can help you to position the items. Also there is the guides. So the guides as you can see now we have two lines, one vertical and one horizontal, and you can use them to position the objects in the slide. So those lines are movable. For example, I want my objects to start from here and from here. So I will get the picture, I will position it here. So now if I want to position another picture on the same line horizontally, I will follow this line that I've put here and now both are aligned horizontally and if I also want to position it vertically to be aligned with the first one I will go and use this line here and now I have three objects and I want to position them in this slide so I can do that manually by dragging each one of them and putting it horizontally on the line and then getting the same picture and aligning it with it so if you can see now the top is matching with the top of the picture the bottom is matching with the bottom and the center with the center because both pictures have the same size and I will get the third one and I will position it aligned to them I can also move it until I reach the same distance between the two pictures on both sides but I can also position them using grouping. So first of all I will select the three pictures and I will go into picture format. From here you can see the align. So I can have different options for alignment. Here is the align to slide and align selected objects. So I will keep the align selected objects and I can align them left, align center, align right, align top, middle and bottom and distribute horizontally and vertically. First let me show you how to align them to the top so if you press align top they will all be aligned to the top of the picture on, on the further top and if you align to the middle you will align all the objects to the middle of them so as you can see they are aligned to middle you can also align to the bottom and as you see here they are all aligned to the bottom of the furthest bottom picture. Now let's say we want to align them to the left. So I will press align left. They will all be aligned to the left of the furthest left picture. And if I press align center, they will all be aligned to the center. Align right, they will all be aligned to the furthest right of the picture on the right side. And let's say we align them to the center. Now we have the option to distribute them 
vertically. So to have the same distribution space between the pictures, if I press on distribute vertically, you will notice that this picture moved and now I have the same space here and here between the pictures. Same thing can be done if you align horizontally when the pictures, for example, are aligned to the middle, you can use the align horizontally. You can also align to slide. So if I press on to align to slide and then press align left, they will be aligned to the left of the slide. If I press align center, they will align to the center of the slide. If I press align right, they will be aligned to the right of the slide. Same thing for the top, middle and bottom. So we have the option to align to slide and align the selected options. I hope this video was helpful for you to help you align the objects on the slides in an efficient way and also a quick way. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to always stay updated about my previous and upcoming videos and hit the like button and share this video with your friends. Oh, 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 oh,